on. Okay, welcome, welcome to SNL, Ruben Trinidad, people still coming in. So thank you, Jesus, for today. So today we have a class. Roger's going to be uh, hosting it. I'm going to make him a host in just a minute. He's going to be talking yeah. about some of these strongholds, uh, root spirits, and how to identify some of these things. And we're going to uh, do some prayers at the end. They're going to be attacking specifically like bondage, right? But I'm yeah. sure you're going to be talking about a little bit of everything. Yeah, 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 of course. But yeah, we will focus more on strongholds. Um, yeah. the anatomy of how a stronghold is in, in each other. So um, we will talk yeah. more about what it's all about. <laughs> so I'm going to make you host. So let's just welcome the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We love Thank you, Lord. You. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. You are welcome here, Lord. Have your way with us. Speak through Roger today. Make yes. our hearts soft, uh, like hearts of flesh, ready to receive, Lord, for revelation, for freedom. Because when we know the truth, the truth sets us free, Lord. So we thank mm -hmm. you for the blood, and we thank you for the cross, and we thank you for the Holy Ghost. We give you all the glory ahead of time for everything that's going to happen today. So... Let me make Roger the host and say, Nadia's coming in. Hello, Nadia. Yeah. Hey, Nadia. Blessings. So I'm making you host. You are able to share if you want to share a screen for anything. And then towards the end of the class, you send it back to me. Or when we hang up, it will revert back to me anyways. Because remember, at 830 I got to do the other one. So we got to be out of here with prayer and deliverance if anything happens by 829. <laughs> amen. Yes. Okay. Amen. 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 All right. Okay. Yes. I'm seeing more people coming in. Kim Raj, what's up? What's up? Blessings. Again, Um, I will open up also in prayer. Father, I give you thanks, Father, for this amazing moment, Father, that we can come together, Father, to to share your word, Father. Your word is truth. Your word is the water that cleanses us. Hallelujah. And thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Um, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, okay. Um, this the the title of tonight is um, I will talk more about the strongholds. Um, as as a Christian, normally um there's a lot of thinking that um when we are a Christian, we cannot have a demon. Um, these are all lies. <laughs> um, because of the strongholds that we hold on to, this, these demons can come in. So um, tonight, what I will share is um, from Romans. I will start with this, Romans chapter 8. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if I can share my screen. Yeah, I think so. Um, Okay, yeah, as uh, a host, you should be able to share the screen. Yeah, let me see here. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Okay. I think I have too much things open. Okay. Um, okay. Zoom. Share my screen. Okay. Yeah, I think you guys are seeing it. It's not a spirit of bondage, but of adoption, which is sonship. Um, I'm, I have taken it out from Romans chapter 8, verse 15. Um, here Paul is explaining again, now that we are in Christ Jesus, there's no more condemnation. But... Does that mean that we don't we cannot still be in bondage? Yes, but in this case, what we can read here, let's read it together is for you did not receive this Paul is explaining to the Romans in this case, for you did not receive the spirit of bondage. This I, I placed here slavery again to fear, but you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba Father. So there's there's uh there's a fight in us in in between being 
son and being a slave. It's about believing. It's about, that's why Paul is saying here, as you can see, you did not receive this, the part of receiving. Um, and also we can see it in, in John chapter one, where it says those that has received Jesus, those that has received him there um, to them, he have given the authority. This is the power to become of be, become or called children of God. This in that sense, when you go in Greek, to become or um, to have power is the word exousia. So exousia means authority. So now that I have received Jesus, I have authority to become or call children of God. But that doesn't mean that everything changed. My spirit changed. But my soul is still tied to the things that I used to do. And it has to be renewed. That's why in Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says that, we have to be renewed in our way of thinking, in our mindset, not conforming to the this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds so we can know the, the good and perfect, this the good and acceptable and perfect gift or the um, will of the Father. So there's there's some things that we have to really um we have to understand what um the bondages are. So um, again, I have placed here a uh -huh, Trojan horse. Why do, do I have placed the uh, team here, Trojan horse? You know why? Because I don't know if you guys know um, the story of Trojan horse. Um, the Trojan horse, um, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. So I'm back again. Okay. So um, the Trojan horse um, was an example of what has happened between um, the in, in Greek. They call it the Greek mythology, but it's something that happened where the Greek uh, were against the Trojans. And the Trojan had uh, a wall, uh, like a China wall. Nobody could have entered into this, this, this city. And they wanted to win this war. So they thought, let let's make a gift for them and they made like a, a horse and all the <laughs> all the um soldiers went into the horse and when they retrieve the the trojans thought they won the war but when they thought they won it they brought the, the horse inside it was a wooden big wooden horse and all the 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 warriors were inside and everyone everyone in Tro Troy went and drank and was drunk and at the night all those <laughs> the Greek went out of the the horse and they slaughtered so sometimes in our own lives in, in our Christian lives we 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 accept those type of Trojans in our lives we see it also in 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 computer world where there's a Trojan message or there's a Trojan just, um, that's why we need some, um, how do you call it, uh, antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-trojan, because those things, when they come in, they come, like I see, uh, as you can read here, someone or something intended to defeat or subvert from within, usually by deceptive means. So that's the way the enemy also works in us. The enemy throws us with lies, with, with um. Um, because a stronghold, the the stronghold of a stronghold is first of all idolatry. And you will say, but how? This what are strongholds? Let's 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 um man, let mention let's mention some of the strongholds. Strongholds of addictions that can be any type of addictions. Um, overeating, like drugs, alcohol, gambling smoking, pornography, promiscuity, gossip, even shopping, um, workaholic, fantasy, manipulation, technology, false religion, and also isolation. These are strongholds 
that we protect ourselves with. Um, and I said idols. You know why? Because idols, what is an idol? Which is something we trust in or rely on more than God to give us a sense of peace and security. Because there is a, a fear. There's these idols. Most people, why they have idols? Most people have idols or idols are there because people think they are protected from uh, of other things um or they can win more money um and health all these things all these things that passed away so when we create idols it's not just a puppet it can be also what we were saying this when people use drugs it's a pain that they cannot handle it's like uh <laughs> It, it's like a drug that like when you go to a, a doctor and the doctor gives you um, prescriptive drugs. So it's something that cools you down. And that's why people use the, those type of drugs. You have different type of drugs. If you want to be happy and and, and in a party mode, you use either Coke or um, some pills. Um, you name it. Alcohol is also the same. People use alcohols because um, former, because they are, I call it, yeah. They're um, they're a coward because no normally when you you use some shots and then you're high now you're not coward you can go and talk to that girl or you can go and fight and you know you can open up your mouth because when you're not under the influence of alcohol you're timid you're you're um, shy but as soon as you drink a, a few <laughs> alcohol you immediately you feel like you're strong. So also gambling, you see, no, this this is a way of hustles. So I will gamble, and smoking also. Smoking is when people use smoking as a way of uh, handling their stress. I'm so stressed. I need to take a smoke. I need to, uh, I need to smoke a bit. So um, pornography is also um, self indulgence. It's it's pure fantasy and pure. Um, it can also break up your, yeah, it's it's awful. It breaks up your marriage. It also um, obscure your way of thinking um, and also um, to manage your marriage. Um, it also brings a lot of problem in marriages. Promiscuity, promiscuity is also a, a way of living a life like crazy. Um, gossip. Um, there's people that needs to gossip. They their item is to you know to look great, or they have people has to love them. Most people that gossip are more are people that tends to have this this um they are afraid of being alone. Okay, um, so these are um strongholds that are rooted in a uh, idol, and these idols are rooted in fear. So fear of something, we fear more than we fear God because we don't know the love of God because we are believing a lie. So a stronghold is, is nothing if we don't have an idol. It's nothing if we don't have fear. It's nothing if we don't accept a lie. So the anatomy of a stronghold is rooted in a lie so that's why the word says that if we stay in his word if we, we stay in 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 jesus word in the word of god the whole scriptures we will get to know the truth and the truth will set us free because either it's truth is also information but in this case it's who jesus is when he comes into our lives he comes with light and and when this light comes in, it also shows everywhere where we can have some lies as we have accepted lies. And why do we accept lies? As I placed here, lies are comfortable. <laughs> That's why most people or all of us has believed a lie because lies are comfortable. It doesn't um make you uncomfortable it makes you comfortable when you lie if you did something wrong like when you're a kid you have broken the window you 
you will you will lie that no someone else did it so you won't get your spanking <laughs> okay so lies are comfortable and i i have um placed this scripture as you can see here i have placed it in papimento but it has to be john okay john chapter 3 verse 19 till 21 and it says here and this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world this in this case jesus has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed but he he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that he have seen that he have been done in god so when we we start walking in god we will walk in light so can a can a christian have bondages absolutely let's read it in acts chapter 8 verse 9 till 24 um i have it here let me share my screen with you in this uh, let me see let me see if it's this again. Um, okay. It's about Simon the Sorcerer. Um, you can find it in, in Acts chapter 8. We will read it down. Okay. But there was a certain man called Simon who pre previously practiced sorcery in the city and astonished the people of Samaria, claiming that he was someone great. To whom they have all have all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, this from the smallest to the greatest, <laughs> from the um, kids to the uh, elders, saying, "This man is the great power of God," and they heeded him because he had astonished them with his sorceries for a long time. But when they believed Philip, because Philip is a is is a is a believer, he's a um, disciple. He went as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. Both men and women were baptized. But you can see here, as soon as Philip came, he started preaching concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. Both men and women were baptized. Then Simon himself also believed. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and was amazed seeing the miracles and signs which were done. Now when the apostles who were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, this, this here you can see Philip as a just uh, a disciple, but then the apostle heard, hey, Samaria also received the word. They sent Peter and John to them, who, when, who when they had come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet he had fallen upon none of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. And when Simon saw that through the laying on of the apostle hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money saying, give me this power also that anyone whom I lay hands may, uh, I may lay hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, your money perish with you because you thought that the gift of God could be purchased with money. You have neither part nor portion in this matter for your heart is not right in the sight of God. So here we can see his heart is not right in the sight of God. So then Peter said, repent therefore of this, of this your your wickedness and pray God if perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity. Then Sam, Simon and Sam said, pray, and said, pray to the Lord for me that none of these things which you have spoken may come upon me. So here we can see again. Simon, the sorcerer, <laughs> has gone through the whole process, like what we normally see. 
you know, the, the, the normal repentance because we are we believe in Jesus. He has even been baptized in the water. But when he saw the power, when the Holy Spirit fell upon people, he also wanted that and wanted to, as he wanted to purchase it. You cannot purchase the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and here we can see what, what um, Peter said to him. Um, you have neither port. Your heart is not right in the sight of God. So repent. In this case, you can see that Simon was still a slave. Um, let's go back. Let me share back the screen. So we can see here, he's still in bondage. He didn't accept, he didn't receive the, the, the spirit as adoption. This, I think he received it, but I think he didn't notice. He didn't let the his heart being changed. In our walk with Christ, we have to let our hearts, first of all, our hearts to be transformed. That's why in, in, in James says that we have to humble ourselves because God resists the pride the proud and and gives grace to the humble so as soon as we let god change our heart broken our hearts in a way that we can receive sonship not against slavery because what what happens with slavery we 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 hold on to mentalities like what i was talking about strongholds um but let me share this um the screen let me see if i have it here uh-huh okay um i have it here okay and let me put it here just give me a sec <laughs> um so i can share it with you yeah so here you can see this do you guys can see it the heart of an orphan against the heart of sonship can you see let me know if you can see it yeah okay awesome so here we can see the heart of an orphan versus a heart of sonship. Because we are made in the image of God. But when you have an orphan, orphan mindset, an orphan heart, you see God only as a master. Your dependency is independent, self-reliant. Um, your theology, you live by the love of, of law. As you go back and... and Think that you can win, you can purchase like what we saw in Simon. He thought he can purchase it with money, but it's not about that. It's the love that we have now with the Father. He didn't understand that. Security, insecure, lack of peace. That's why he saw a way of gaining more money with placing hands and 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 so people can receive the Holy Spirit and instead of seeing that Holy Spirit is God, because. Nowadays, there's uh, there's some teachings all over there, like the Jehovah Witnesses. They teach that the Holy Spirit is just uh, energy. It's not an energy. Holy Spirit is God. He, he is the third person of the tri triune God. So it's very awful. It's very scary because what Jesus also taught, you can blaspheme against the Father, against the Son, but not against the Holy Spirit. So again, um, the heart of an orphan can lead you in, in, in curses and still in bondages. Um, need for approval. Strive for the praise, approval, and acceptance of men. So if you can see it in yourself, if, if, if you're still striving, for praises of man or approval or acceptance, you have to repent. 
motive for service, a need for personal achievement as you seek to impress God and others or no motivation to serve at all. This instead of, you know, serving service that is motivated by the deep gratitude for being unconditionally loved and accepted by God. That's that's sonship. When we are son, we, we serve by gratitude and we serve by because we know we are we don't um, deserve, but now we have received it. And thank you, Father. You know, motive behind Christian discipline, duty and earn God's favor or, or no motivation at all. Instead of being in pleasure and delight. Motive for purity must be holy to have God's favor, thus increase in the sense of shame and guilt. Want to be holy, do not want anything to be in an intimate relationship with God. See the motive here? One is by a sense of shame and guilt, and the other is pure by intimate relationship with our Father, with Abba. Okay? Self-image. Self-rejection from, from comparing yourself to others. When you have this orphan mentality or orphan heart, you, you start comparing as soon as you can. You see it in yourself. Just rebuke that spirit. Rebuke that mindset. And repent. Stop doing it. <laughs> it's simple. Instead, our self-image is positive and affirm because you know you have such value to God. We, we, have, we are so valuable that God the Father sent his the only son, the son, God's son, to, you know, to shed his blood and bought us because we have been redeemed. When you say redeemed, we have been bought as slaves from Egypt, as slaves from the house of Satan. Now we have been, trans, um, the word says in Colossians, we have been um, um, transcended from the, to the, the kingdom of light, the son of his love. So, so much powerful when we see ourselves not as invaluable as this rejection or comparing. We see ourselves in God's eyes valuable. Okay? You need only one applause from him. <laughs> you don't need applause from anyone else. Okay? Source of comfort. Seek comfort in counterfeit affections, addictions, compulsions, escapism, busyness, hyper-religious activity. All these things are, if you're gaining your source of comfort because you're doing so much or you're, in this case, addiction, compulsion, escapism, just repent. Seek times of quietness and solitude to rest in the Father's presence and love. We need these things. We need this, this rest in the Father. Don't see it that you have to do a lot of things or you have to you no, know, see it that you can also rest in the Father. There's a there's moments, there's season that you have to also work, but also use your time in quietness and solitude. Um, peer relationships, competition, rivalry, and jealousy towards other success and position. As soon as I see someone else, um climbing the, the ladder of success and position and something else, it, my heart start to compete or I start to feel jealous. As soon as you start doing and seeing this stuff, rebuke that <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Walk in humility and unity as you value others and are able to rejoice in the blessings and success of others, okay? Handling others' faults. Accusing and exposure in order to make yourself look good by making others look bad. Wow, this also is pretty harsh. I used to walk a lot in this accusation and exposure in order to make yourself look good. It's it's what <laughs> also Adam and Adam did <laughs> in the Garden of Eve, in the Garden of Eden. When God ex, ex, um asked Adam, did you eat from the 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 tree of knowledge of good and evil, yes or no question. He started um, blaming the woman and other stuff. So this what what we do as as uh, as sons, love carvers as you seek to restore others in a spirit of love and gentleness. You cover because love covers a multitude of sin. 
um, also First Corinthians chapter 13 is also awesome to, to read if you have guys have time. Just note it down. First Corinthians chapter 13 also helps a lot to, to you know, get a great perspective of what love is. Love is not in times that where everything is nice. Love is applied when you're being attacked, when you're being um, spoke bad about, or you're being, you know, mistreated. That's where love, that's where you apply love, okay? View of authority is also something that a lot of people struggles with. When you see authority as a source of pain, distrustful towards them and lack of, and lack a hard attitude of submission, you're working, your heart is still in like a, like an orphan. Um, when you see authorities, people in authority with respect, as respectful, honoring, you see them as ministers of God for good in your life. That's where you know you have this, this sonship. This, uh, let us cultivate this heart, okay? Um, next is view of admonition. Difficulty receiving admonition. You must be right so you easily get your feelings hurt and close your spirit to discipline. Instead of see the receiving of admonition as a blessing and, and need in your life so that your faults and weakness are exposed and put to death. So it's okay. It's okay when we're still growing growing we need admonition we need help <laughs> it's okay it's it's okay to also ask for help okay expression of love guarded and conditional based upon others performance as you seek to get your own needs met open patient and affectionate as you lay your life and agendas down in order to meet the needs of others this is what also we can read in in Philippians chapter 2, also note it down, read it, because it's also um, how Paul is explaining, you know, not seeking your own things, but seek for the other first. <laughs> seek the interest of others first. Wow. So good. Sense of God's presence, conditional and distant. If you, you're still seeing that that the, the God, God's presence, is, it has to be conditional. I need to do this. I need to do that. And you feel that he's distant. Know that you're cultivating a heart of an orphan. Um, so because God has did everything, he did everything so he can close and intimate. He oversee, he overlook our sins. That's why we have now the ministry of reconciliation because he has oversee our sins now he wants us close because sin is when we don't know who we are sin is also when we we're doubting his fullness that he can fool fool us he can fill us fully as soon as we start doubting we start going into sin okay condition the condition in as a orphan is he is bondage is still a slave in in and um in comparison as son is liberty because where the where the holy spirit is where the where the spirit is where the spirit of god is there is freedom there is liberty <laughs> amen now god's spirit it lives in us holy spirit is living now in us amen position feel like a servant a slave and position feel like a son and a daughter let me Push this um, vision. Spiritual ambition, the earnest desire for some spiritual achievement and distinction and the willingness to strive for it. A desire to be seen and counted among the mature. In this sonship, it, say, it says that to daily experience the Father's unconditional love and acceptance and then be sent as a representative of his love to family and others. You know, so... It's also something that we can see when what's what is our vision. We see ourselves with a father or doing just a lot of things, you know. One <laughs> future fight for what you, you can get. Sonship releases your inheritance because as soon as your son 
is we are adopted not by our own but by God what we can see here okay amen let me go back to um what I was reading okay so let's go back in Romans chapter 8 verse 15 for you did not receive again the spirit of bondage the slavery again to fear but you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Daddy, this Abba, Father, from where we come from. Amen. So if tonight you tell me, Roger, um, throughout this list, I, I noticed that I'm still in bondage. Um, and I noticed that I've been in idolatry and in fear. And I accepted the lies of the enemy. And tonight I can tell you, brother and sister, um, just renounce that spirit in the name of Jesus. So now just repeat with me. I renounce every lies of the enemy. I renounce every lie of the enemy that I need something to fill me instead of what God has already given me. He is my father. I am his son or daughter. I'm the son or of daughter of the Most High, not because what I did, but what Jesus did for me at the cross. At the cross. And he has paid for my sins. And now tonight, Father, change my heart. I seek repentance, Father. I want to repent. I repent from my things. And Father, put a new heart in my heart. Change my heart from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh. And thank you again that you have placed your and, and put inside me your Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Thank you. Forgive me that as I have doubted. And thank you, Father, for your freedom. I rebuke any spirit, any demons right now off of my body right now in the name. Hey, looks like we lost him, and I'm sure he's going to come back in, but let's just keep with the prayers, guys. It would be great if you guys can put the camera on just for the prayer time. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you right now for the power of the Holy Spirit touching your children. Andres, your camera is sideways. You got to move your phone there. You know, Father, we just thank you right now for breaking the power of the law of sin and death and the spirit of bondage and the spirit of orphan spirit, Father, and the lies and the idolatry, Father. Just remove every evil in our hearts, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask right now that you would just search our hearts, search deep within our soul, Lord, anything that has caused pain and trauma, that has caused uh, roots of idolatry and bondage even to the flesh. Father, anything that has caused bondage to our flesh, whether it was habits, habits with like pills, medicine, drugs, alcohol, Lord, that's not who we are. Any habits that has brought uh, a bondage like addiction, even gambling, TV, games, um, any type of things over the internet, even uh, pornography, Father, we break the powers of all that bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, that you didn't give us a spirit of fear, but power of love and a sound mind, Lord. Just fill up your children with your perfect love, Lord.
Fill up your children with your perfect love in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we break all spirits of witchcraft and familiar spirits, generational familiar spirits in Jesus' name. Breaking the powers of all orphan spirits. I'm speaking to myself because the enemy always comes with those little whispers trying to cause comparison and, and, and whatever, just offense and things like that. And like we have constantly to be making the thoughts captive to the to the, the obedience of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, it looks like Roger's coming back in. Are you there? Roger, Roger. Roger. Okay. My yeah. So I was just I was just continuing a little bit. Go ahead. You have you still have some time. Okay. Okay. Um let me okay. Um yes. Okay. Just go, uh, after, just go after some of the prayers, you know. Yeah. So um tonight. Let's keep on in prayer. Yes. Um, like the word says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty and God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when our obedience is fulfilled. And thank you, Father, for you have given us also, Father, um, the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Father. And right now, in the name of Jesus, um, every one of you just bind on earth. And, and like the word says, everything that you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. So we bind right now every wicked spirit, every bondage right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, Loosen from our lives right now in the name of Jesus. We use authority right now to cast out all these demons, all these lies right now. All these strongholds come down right now in the name of Jesus. All these arguments, all these lies that we, in some way, we have agreed with right now in the name of Jesus. We bind them now in the name of Jesus and we lose right now, Father, your, your spirit, Father. You're um, also uh, ministering angels right now, Father, to minister to our hearts, to minister to our lives, everything that's around us in our, um, in, our, um, in our financial, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Father. And Father, forgive us, Father, also for not giving. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that also, for not giving, Father. And Father, right now, Father, um, I thank you for your grace, Father. I thank you for your truth, Father. I thank you for your light, Father, that your light shines into the darkness right now and the darkness cannot comprehend it. And Father, right now in the name of Jesus, every dead thing that is um, inside, everything that's um, um, in, in darkness right now, come out in the name of Jesus. Everything that's, that's hindering us right now. And thank you, Father, that you break up Every bondage of alcohol, every bondage of drugs, any bondage of cigarettes, any bondage of any um, foods, Father, um, and also overeating, Father, um, and also um, some pornography. We break them down right now in the name of Jesus. Um, gossip right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, every lies of the enemy for false religion and false also Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, shine your light so we can receive your gospel, the full gospel in the name of Jesus. And also um, manipulation, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Sorobosaya, hallelujah. And thank you, Father, for everything that you're doing, that you're doing in our lives, Father. Thank you for everyone that's connected, Father, that may your grace, Father, may your mercy, Father, be shown and, and, and grow so they can, everyone can grow in you, in the knowledge of you, like um, it says in, in, in Ephesians, hallelujah, and in Ephesians, hallelujah, let us read it, um, I think I closed it, but anyways, where it says that, um, Father, that you have done everything so we can be in you. Thank you that when you came into our lives, Father, you have released us, Father, from this spirit of bondage, from the spirit of slavery, 
Thank you again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is any questions? Any? Hallelujah. Anyone's feeling something? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Feeling well, Andres. Awesome. Bienvenidos, Andres. <laughs> Hallelujah. I think I'm going to use Andres to do a, a class for us on the videos of the, let me know if you want, Andres, um, from the Forerunner School. I can use you in the Africa group, so then we can repeat the class there and here. Um, I'm on okay. video 10 and 11, video 10 and 11. It's about the secret place. And one more, I forget right now what it is. Um, I think it's fivefold ministry and the secret place. Okay. So if you yes, want, I'll be there. Yes. you just kind of have to review the video and then you can okay. do, do your own notes and stuff. Okay. When, when will the class will be? Uh, the class in Africa is Mondays at 2.30 in the afternoon. Can you make it? Can you make 2 30? it? 2.30? Your time? Sorry, Miami, Miami time, 2.30, yes. Okay. okay, I have to check, but uh, I will uh, write to you. Okay, just message me. Anyway, so here is Thursdays at 7.30. So okay. if you cannot do Africa, that's fine, but you can do it here. Okay, thank you. Uh, I was going to ask if Roger can send us the, the document. Uh, yes, the of comparison. course. Oh yeah, yeah I, it was I, really I good. That too. Yeah, Thank of you. course, of course. Yeah, we'll share it in, in the group and um Flavia will send it to you, I think, in the other group that you are in. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. No, yeah. awesome, awesome. I hope you guys have been blessed by this. Did you this guys you all do the metrics? Did I send the metrics link in you guys' no. group? No. Oh, no. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot because I got way too many things going on. Uh you know what? Just put your numbers right here. I'm gonna take the notes right now because I got a report by tonight or tomorrow morning. Any salvations last month? Um I had one, not two, no, three, three, three. One, two, three. Okay. Anybody else? You can unmute yourselves or you can write in the chats. Any salvations? One. One for me, Fabia. Amen. Amen. Uh, Kimaj, any salvations? And Kimi? Okay, Kimi, I see one. Praise God. No. Okay, no problem. Okay, so you guys know the drill. How about water baptism? Uh, Holy Spirit baptism? Not yet, no. Nothing, nothing on those? No. Okay, well, let's push when we're giving people the gospel to make sure we get them filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen. I mean, we can, we can, we can get the water done as soon as possible. I, you know, of course, sometimes you're in the mall or in the store. So it's not like, you know, you can, but you can plan. You can talk to them and plan, but when you give the gospel right away, fill them up with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, because I have a family that will and, be... And the order yeah, doesn't I, matter if you do the water first, Holy Ghost, or for, which it doesn't matter. It, no, it doesn't God, matter. He's not fighting against himself, which, you know, so amen, let's just, amen. because the Holy Spirit will really empower people to keep on going, to keep mm -hmm. on going in the right direction. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on. I'm reading. Amen. I'm reading Kimmy's notes here. Amen. Oh, God. Some baptism in your pool. Amen. Thank you. Hey, hi there, Keisha. How are you? So, okay. So, no Holy Spirit, no water baptism. What? How about prayers for healing and prayers for deliverance? Yeah. Yeah. Deliverance. Oh, for 
Go ahead. How many, Nadia, for healing and deliverance? Two. Two. Two of each or two? Yes. Okay, awesome. Two. Yeah. And, and Raj, I know you went to the trip, so I know you did some work this time. Yeah, and also, yeah, there's, yeah, I don't, didn't count all of them, but yeah, it's like, yeah, in, in Colombia was four, I think, four. But for, the, for deliverances, any healings? Healings is, I no, they didn't, they didn't um, tell me that it went, because the, the pain didn't go. Okay, no problem. Yes, I saw. But we still believe they got it, right? But Amen. We like to report the confirmed ones. Yeah, the confirmed ones. I see one. your numbers, Kimi. Okay, I got you. Keisha, do you have anything to report for the... I forgot to send the link of the Google form, so I'm just taking the report by, by mouth right now because I have to report by tomorrow early. So I'm just going to do it right now. Do you have anything to report, Keisha? Salvations, water baptism, Holy Spirit baptism, healings and deliverances. No, I just praying for people, but no um like healing or deliverances as yet. <laughs> Nothing that you could confirm. Okay. Mm. All right, no problem. No, not Listen, at least you're stepping out. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. But like Most... if when you when you pray for people, especially if it's a healing thing, have the person test it, move it, test it. Do you have pain? Do you still have pain? What is your number? Whatever. Ask them. Pray again if you have to. You know, just like just don't take no for an answer. Like you just go after it. You know. Mm -hmm. I know Andres did some prayers in Mexico too, but you have to report in an Andreas uh, group. So I'm not yes, taking I, numbers. Can. Yeah, I can't take your numbers here. I have to. Amen. I got you, Kimi. I got your numbers. No problem. Quick okay. question. Andreas, where are you? Are you in Merida? No, uh, I'm in Guadalajara. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that again? I'm from Guadalajara, Jalisco. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but he when we had the event in Motu, he came down. That's how we met him back then. The same time I met you. But yeah, he traveled. We definitely got to get some of these people in your region to grow a hub in your area, um, Kimmy. I mean, there's probably someone in Giovanni's group, but they all speak Spanish. The problem is you don't speak Spanish. I know, right? So at least not good enough. <laughs> Muy poco. Just, just get new tongues in Jesus' name. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, today I was having a deliverance. Once. Today I was mm -hmm. doing a deliverance in Arab, okay, but not me because I had to speak English and the sun. It was, uh, the son was in Dubai and the parents were in some, whatever, some city near India. Wow. He was translating. I don't even know if he was speaking Arabic or Hindu, or Hindi or whatever. Wow. They, were, they were having to translate the whole thing. <laughs> wow. But God did it. They got But it. God. But uh, God. But I God. was spreading tongues. I was hoping they were going to catch what I was saying, but it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I had that happen one time. The last time I was in Medellin, it happened. Really? Amen. Wow. Yeah. I've only have, had it happen once. So I'm, I've been praying like, okay, Lord, come on. You know, when I'm out here in these streets of Merida. <laughs> I, I heard one time in an event, um, you know who Catherine Crick is? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. I went to see her in an event in Miami and she was singing. In tongues and I was hearing the tongues low and the English higher over the tongues like I was hearing in English what she was singing that happened one time as well wow. and uh, the one time in the cruise recently we were in the cruise and all of us were like worshiping in the room they gave us like a kind of like a little ballroom to to use and we were worshiping and singing and dancing and praying tongues and whatever. And then um, the pastor from Atlanta, 
two girls were near him and praying in tongues. And all of a sudden he started picking up what they both were saying. And it's like they were complimenting each other as they were speaking without even knowing the Lord was doing that. So then he wrote it down. He picked up his phone and he wrote it down real fast. I'm going to look and see if I still have it in my phone and I'll send it in the group. Because when you read, it's just like a little paragraph like this. But it's like the the sword of the Lord is like, ah, because the mm -hmm. Lord was like correcting, speaking something about correcting, but he's still in such a tone of love. Wow. He was saying something like, um, I have called I have called you all for you know such a time as this, like to shine a, your light, but you keep on doing your own thing and think that your ashes are beauty when I want to really give you glory. Something something like that. But the, everything that he wrote was actually scriptures. So it's like, you know, it was from the Lord. <laughs> like I when you read re when you read it just pierces you as if like you, you know God is like literally right there speaking to you. I, I'm gonna find I have it. He wrote it, he sent it to me. It was really a cool experience. Well, guys, I got to go because it's about the time I got to get with the Brazil group. I have a, another group doing uh, that uh, similar to what Daniel did this week about how to identify you have a demon. So I'm going to do that over there. All right, Andres, confirm to me, please. For Monday, for Thursday, I'm going to assume you're saying yes already. Yes. Okay. And then, so confirmed for Monday. Let me know. Okay, Yes. Of course. Thank you. Who wants, who wants to pray us out real quick? We have literally one minute. Anybody wants to pray us out? I can do it. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for letting us be here together today, for bringing us your love and your teaching. Thank you for the heart of every one of us. Please send us with love to our families, to our friends, to our jobs, and let us um, reflect your image in every action and every thought and everything that comes out from our mouth. We love you and we worship you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen. All right, guys. Bless you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Bye, Nadia. Love you. Love you, you guys. Love bye, you. Bye-bye.